Hello everybody, welcome on in! I hope you are all doing great. It has been too long, and I hope that it's not that long again. Hi! How's it going everybody? Welcome on in! In case you don't remember, my name is Reach Pet. I know it's I know it's been a little while, but uh, yeah, I am still here. I'm alive. I hope you are all doing well. Welcome on in, Random Korok, Alto Girl, Zombie KV, Detective Rach! Nice to see you all, my friends. I appreciate you coming on in, saying hey, saying hi. My microphone's quiet. What if I, what if I do this? Is this, is this better? If I, if I move it a little bit closer. See, I'm so out of practice. I don't even know what the problem is because I see it. I see the the audio levels at a certain thing. Is it, is it better? Is it bit, is it better here if I put it like in my mouth? I know it's gonna be better than it was. It was down here. But it's better here. All right, I'll leave it here. If it's still too quiet, let me know. And I can make some more adjustments. Let me turn the Fall Guys game volume up a little bit so you can actually hear that. Um, I haven't changed any of my equipment, but it's been so long that the levels and everything may have changed around a little bit on their own. So if, if, if the game needs to go up or my mic needs to go up or down, let me know. How has everybody been? I hope you are all doing well. I have made a couple behind the scenes changes. You'll notice the alerts may look slightly different because I'm using the built-in Twitch alerts now. Um, I heard that if you switch to Twitch alerts, eventually they're going to open up new animated emote slots, which will be great because speaking of emotes, we got two new emotes. We got the Reach Pat, and then we also got the Bark. So we got a we got a Growlithe getting pat and we got an Arcanine barking. I'm very excited about them. Hey, it's Breezy Onik. Nice to see you, my friend. Hope you're doing well. Nice to see you, Breezy. Uh, Growlithe emotes are double. Thank you, thank you. So I was just browsing around Etsy. Um, actually, I can show you all. I now I now officially have a uh, I have a wall of Growlithe art. Hold on, let me uh. Let me, uh, hold on, I gotta turn that off. Uh, I gotta remember how to do this, uh, this one. Ah, it's upside down. All right, I have a whole wall of Growlithe now. So I've got my Growlithe Funko Pop, and then I've got, I've got this really cool spray paint painting. That's the original. I got this really cute, tiny little one that somebody made. That's only, I think, four inches by four inches. Um, this was actually the first one that I got. It's, a uh, it's a Starry Night Growlithe. So you'll actually see if you look up like Growlithe art, people sell prints of this all the time, but I have the original and I am extremely excited about this. I just got this one the other day. Uh, it's like a, a really cool galaxy art type thing. And then over here, it's a Growlithe made out of Pokemon cards. So it's all, uh, I can't pull it any tighter because the, the cord doesn't go any longer. But it's all a whole bunch of different Pokemon cards that they use to kind of make a, a bit of a collage there. And of course, I got my Growlithe, my Growlithe Funko Pop right here. Um, yeah, so this is my this is my new wall of Growlithe. I don't know where I was going with that, other than I just really really like Growlithe, uh, as you can probably tell. So uh, I just got those animated uh, Arcanine and the. Uh, Growlithe Pat. I got those today. And then I also have the Wiggle. Uh, the, the Growlithe Wiggle. I've had that for a while. Um, but that one I actually had uh, custom commissioned for me. And I am trying to get another one custom commissioned sometime soon. Hey, Bohemian Moon! How's it going? I know you probably can't hear me because you're stuck in an ad, but hello, hello! Uh, Breezy doing okay, having an emotional evening. Oh, I hope things get better for you, Breezy. Hope things get better, my friend. Hey, Bohemian Moon, nice to see ya. How's it going, my friend? I think out of, out of everybody, I've been in touch with Bohemian Moon probably close to the most out of everybody in my, my months of absence, and that's only because we're on the same marble racing team. So we, uh, we see each other every week there. Uh, all right. Well, we got to get some hype in the chat. Uh, this played during the 
intro, and I'm gonna play it one more time. Detective Rach just came in with a 36 month resub. Thank you so much for the 36 months, my friend. I appreciate that. That is a lot of months. Can we get some hype in the chat? For Detective Rach, enjoy another month of those emotes and free viewing when I stream. <laughs> Access to our subscribers only Discord channel, and of course, that super special place you get right in my heart. I really appreciate that. I really appreciate all the support, especially with me not being around as often as I would like to. Um, it, it really does mean a lot. I really appreciate it. Hey, Haruka 23LM. How's it going, my friend? I love the name change, by the way. I don't remember when you changed your name. I know it's been a little while. I can't remember if it was the last time I streamed or before that or after that. I don't know, but I do like the name change. How's it going, Haruka? I hope you are doing fantastic. Uh, well, speaking of uh, a lot of months, uh, let, me, let me switch over to this scene here. Speaking of a lot of months, um, next... This coming Thursday, a week from yesterday, is actually my three-year affiliate anniversary, which is bonkers. Um, I'm trying to get a couple of streams in before that. We're going to do a party uh, of some sort next, uh, probably next Friday is when we'll do the, the celebration stream. So I'm thinking of streaming today. I'm thinking of streaming tomorrow, maybe Sunday. I don't want to do too much too quick because I don't want to burn myself out going right back into it, but... I'm very excited to be back. Also, Detective Rage is just going ham on intro fighters. 11 kills. That is absolutely insane, Detective Rage. Uh, all right. Excited to be back? I'm excited to be back, too. I am I am very excited to get back. I, I don't even know what I want to talk about. It, it's I, I, I'm not used to this anymore. It's been, it's been far too long, so... Uh, I guess we'll go over some life updates first. So, uh, the dogs are doing fantastic. Uh, Shelby just turned nine, which is absolutely crazy to think about. She just, uh, whoa! Random Korok! New emotes. New emotes indeed! Guys, can we get some hype in the chat for Random Korok? Coming on in with that 21 month resub. Thank you so much! For the support, my friend, enjoy the emotes, the ad-free viewing, access to our subscribers-only Discord channel, and of course, that super special place you get right in my heart. Um, yeah, just fair warning. Um, the revolution has begun. like I said, the alerts are different. I'm using I'm using the integrated Twitch alerts now, which are a bit different. Um, so I've noticed already that like the text size is a bit small so i need to slowly work on uh getting all of that upgraded but uh if you have any feedback if you notice anything that looks weird let me know because i will try to get all that taken care of as quick as possible there will soon be more slots yes i am very excited and that is why that is actually why i switched to the integrated twitch emotes versus the um what is that I, stream elements and, and mix it up um alerts that i was using before did i say emotes i meant alerts yeah i'm i'm switching up to using these alerts that way i'll have access to those extra emote slots I gotta work on spacing. I gotta work on uh, a few things. So it's gonna be a little bit of a work in progress. I appreciate your patience. And like I said, if you notice anything weird, uh, let me know. All right, what else happened? So Shelby's doing great. Uh, Kaya had um, Kaya had surgery on her face. She had a she had a growth that didn't look good, and we were getting concerned about it. So we took her to the vet. Um, we. Had it taken, uh, we had antibiotics and a whole bunch of stuff on it, um, and it wasn't really getting any better, so the vet was like, you know, let's just cut it off. 
So the vet cut it off, and that was two weeks ago now, and she's healing fantastic, which is absolutely crazy because she's, gosh, how old is she? 13 and a half. 13 and a half years old, and she's, she's still doing absolutely fantastic. So we're, I'm very, very thankful that everything went well, but uh, luckily she didn't even need to go under any anesthesia or anything. They just uh, did some local numbing around where they were doing the uh, uh, the procedure, and they just, they just cut it off and stitched her face back up. So she's doing great. Uh, neither of the dogs wanted to be in here with me tonight. Uh, I think they aren't used to me doing this anymore so um there's that had a lot of work going on around the house um i don't think i told you all i almost died the other day that was scary i was doing some work under the house and um if anybody remembers when i when i uh hey ferret faucet how's it going my friend nice to see you um but yeah when i bought this house it needed to be jacked up so they they raised some of the support beams under the house but what the contractors did is they never actually took the they never actually took the old ones out so what ended up happening is when i was under there um insulating some pipes because none of our plumbing was insulated and it's starting to get cold so i want to make sure nothing freezes um, I must have accidentally bumped one of the old support beams and the entire thing collapsed and whacked me in the head really, really, really hard. Um, if it had been like a, like a, a huge support beam from the house fell because it, it was one of the non-supported ones. Um, it was about three or four inches away from um, like poking my eye out. And then if it had fallen three or four inches in the other direction, it wouldn't have hit me at all. So I, I kind of lucked out where uh, I was right in the sweet spot where I got a really nasty bruise on my head, but nothing else. So um, I'm fine. Everything is okay. <laughs> but um, yeah, I was a bit sore for a while after that, but everything is fine now. <laughs> And I was able to go um, go through and find all of the old support beams that were like that. And I knocked them all over. That way they can't try to kill me again. Because as fun as it was, um, I, I would appreciate being alive. So that happened. Uh, I also started a new job last week. Whoa! We're being raided! We're being raided! Hi, Nate! How's it going? Whoa! So many things are happening! So many things are happening all at once! Speaking of everything's fine, not everything is fine. I am here. Chat. Panic. Everybody panic. Everybody panic! Guys, can we get some hype in the chat for freaking undissolved? Coming on in with how many months is that? 33! 33 month resub. Thank you so much, my friend. I appreciate the support. Nate, enjoy the emotes, the ad free viewing, access to our subscribers only Discord channel, and of course, that special place you get right in my heart. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. How's it going, Nate? How was the stream? How was the fork knife? I was enjoying hanging out. Uh, if anybody doesn't know, Nate's been streaming again. I mean, obviously, you know, because you saw him just raid, but now you know again because I said it. Uh, make sure you go drop Nate a follow. I was having a great time over there. Hey, Mia. Welcome on in. Nice to see you, my friend. Uh, glad you're okay. Not sure who to send your Christmas present to, LOL. Yeah, very glad you're okay. I am okay. I did almost... You just missed the story, anybody coming in on the raid. I, I almost died a couple of weeks ago. Uh, I was doing some work under my house in one of the old support beams. Uh... Uh, collapsed on me and gave me a real big bruise on my head and I'm almost uh, if it had been like a couple inches forward it would have poked my eye out so I'm fine the bruise is gone uh, I didn't have to go to the hospital or anything I was on concussion watch but I, I, I everything's fine uh, nothing to worry about um, and we're all good now that's what matters we're all good now <laughs> 
Fortnite's been so much fun. Yeah, I haven't watched Fortnite in a while. But I do enjoy watching it. Wear your hard hat. Well, so what I've been doing since is I uh, purchased, or not, not purchased, I have like a, a beanie that I've been wearing on my head as just like extra cushion. Because I had my hoodie on. I was wearing a hoodie with uh, the, the hood pulled up. But I put a, a beanie on underneath that so it can uh, it can uh, give it a little more protection. But yeah, all of those sketchy support beams I moved because, you know, almost dying is not fun. Um, don't make me call the safety person. Yeah, that's right. I started a new job and I'm not the safety person anymore. I finally left my job. I know I've been kind of talking on and off about doing this for a long time um but yeah i ended up uh getting a job offer at a company literally across the street from where i used to work literally the next building over so all i needed to do is just move over one parking lot um so i've been there for two weeks now uh, today was my 10th day and it's funny because uh my my old company is still right there and when I worked there, I was always the guy that went and, like, cooked all the hot dogs and stuff when we decided to do company lunches. Um, and they wanted to do hot dogs today, so they just texted me and said, Hey, you want to come over here and have lunch with us? So I went back over and, uh, <laughs> and had lunch with everybody again. It was pretty, pretty fun. Um, started your new job two weeks ago. That's exciting. That is very exciting. Maybe, maybe you, did you take my old job? Did you take my old job? Say it ain't so. Maybe three weeks, got, uh, maybe not, probably not. I don't think you would have taken my old job because you don't live in the same state as me. So it'd be a little difficult to do that, but uh, you know, fun thought anyway. <laughs> started on the 16th. I started on the, not that. I started on the 20, uh, uh, 23rd. Yeah, I started on the 23rd. Um. Yeah, what else? What else happened in my life? I got married. That's a thing that happened. I got married last, or this week. It was this week. I got married on Halloween. That was cool. Um. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I, I went and did that. I did. I, I, I got married on Halloween. Yeah, my my uh, fiance and I decided uh, a, a, a week before that um, we, 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 you know, we were basically married because we, um, we bought the house together, did a whole bunch of other stuff, but... Uh, we wanted to get married that way it would make taxes easier because of the house so with about a week's notice we just went to the town hall and got married on halloween did people dress up uh i was trying so my my parents were still in massachusetts they couldn't come up um but my fiance's dad and brother live in the area so they were able to, to come over um so my aunt and uncle actually came and they were my witnesses. I was trying to get my uncle to dress up in an Elvis costume. That way we could say we got married with a, with an Elvis impersonator. Um, that's okay. So uh, are we having a big wedding? We are uh, planning on just doing like a picnic or like a cookout type thing. Like nothing, nothing crazy. Um, so we're... We're just, we're not really planning on doing a quote unquote wedding. We're planning on doing a party that happens to celebrate our marriage. Um, cause her family is really small. Her, her family's literally just her dad and her brother. Whereas I have a, a, a much bigger family. So the party is really going to be for my family. Um, and she is a little bit, um, introverted. So... Um, we're trying not to do anything crazy big. That way she's not uncomfortable. Yeah. Would have had to go to Vegas TwitchCon for Elvis Preacher. I, we, we were actually thinking about hopping on a plane and going to like a drive through chapel in Vegas. Cause that would just be hilarious. Um, yeah, no. So we, uh, 
we did that. So I have been married for the four days now, which is crazy. Um, it still feels weird to be married like at this age because I still consider myself fairly young. But I mean, I guess this is when some people start to, to get married. How's it feel? Nothing has changed. Really, like literally nothing has changed because we were basically married before. All we were doing was making it official on paper. So, I mean, the same, I guess. It just, my my hand is a little bit heavier because of the the uh, the ring on my on my hand now. That that's really all. Uh, that's really all that I that I feel. You know. Congrats! Thank you, thank you. Yeah, and Rach got married recently, right? Was that you? I, I'm so out of it. I have been like so off Twitch and, and just like did on the 13th. Yes, congratulations to you too, Detective Rage. I thought it was you. How how did everything go with you? Uh, how was the how was the wedding? How was everything? I hope it all went well. Um, yeah, no, I've just been I, I there's been so much going on, and I've just I've. I've been dealing with a lot of burnout lately, partially because I've been doing a lot of stuff outside of work and not had a lot of time to like chill at home. And that's also why I haven't really been streaming because I've just, when I am home, all I'm doing is passing out because I'm so burnt out. So I really kind of did some self-reflection and decided to sit down and cut back on some, uh, some of my other activities that I do that way. I can do stuff closer to home um, and have more chance to relax. So I, I find streaming a lot more relaxing than, than running around and doing a whole bunch of other stuff. And the nice thing too is that I have the flexibility to say, hey, if something pops up last minute and I have to cancel stream, it's a lot easier than try to get at getting out of something that I, I'm committed to. So I'm cutting back a lot on officiating. I think next season I said I'm, I can only do one meet a week, whereas I'm used to doing like three. Um, and there's a couple other things that I'm cutting back on too. So I really want to get back into streaming more consistently. Um, cause I, I, I miss everybody and, um, I really enjoy hanging out with all of you. So, um, I'm hoping to be back, uh, be back for good or, or, or good enough. At least, <laughs> uh, it was amazing. So happy with how everything went in your hair extensions. Nice. I'm glad you had a good time. I actually, so the, the day that we decided we're going to get married, I was actually driving back to Massachusetts to go to my, one of my really good friends from high school's wedding. Um, she got married. I was actually, I was a bridesman. I was in the bridal party. So one of her bridesmaids backed out last minute. So she asked if I could fill in. So it was great. I, I dressed up and matched all the bridesmaids. So I, they, they were all wearing like a, a, a jumpers or, or jumpsuits. That's what that's what they're called, jumpsuits. Uh, but I was just wearing like slacks and a, and a button up. But my my bow tie color matched all the, the bridesmaids. And I had a bouquet that I carried down the aisle. And it was really funny. Uh, it, was a, it was a very nice wedding. Um, it was outside which was a little cold and it was rainy, but rain on your wedding day is good luck. Um, and it seemed like everybody had a, a pretty good time. There's a couple of pictures in Discord, I think. If you go in the Pets and Other Picks channel, I think I posted a couple of pictures of me feeding geese. Oh yeah, the other thing was I was wearing Crocs. I was wearing Crocs because all the bridesmaids wore Crocs. So I had to go buy Crocs. I've never worn Crocs before. But I got them for the wedding, and it was an absolutely fantastic time. I was also wearing rubber ducky socks, because of course I was. Uh, but yeah, so the... Uh, I was wearing rubber ducky socks with the Crocs, yes. Uh, but yeah, the, the actual like wedding venue was right next to a duck pond. And there were a whole bunch of ducks and geese, and they would just come right up to you. And they were eating right out of my hand. It was so cool. So cool. Crocs are amazing. I've never worn them before. But I love them. I, I I have it right by my uh, I have them right by my back door now. So whenever I uh, go outside to like take out the compost or play with the dogs or whatever, I throw them on. Living his best life. I wasn't kidding 
when I said I have a lot going on and I, I, I'm uh, trying to get back into the swing of things, you know, it's, uh, yeah, no, it's been, it's been a bit crazy. What else? Anything else happen? Got the new job, got the dogs, I got married. Anybody else? Anybody else have anything fun happen in the last like two or three months since I've since I've streamed? How are kind Shelby? They're doing good. Uh, I mentioned it at the beginning, but I know a few people came in since. So they uh, Shelby just turned nine, so she's um, she's doing fantastic. She's she's still just like a puppy. Um, we are doing agility with her all the time, and she's having an absolutely fantastic time with that. Uh, we do that every Wednesday. She's getting really good at it, which is, is pretty fun. Maybe one of these days I'll uh, I'll take some videos and post them in the Discord of Shelby doing agility. Because um, that would be a ton of fun to, to show off. Uh, and Kaya had face surgery. There was an infection that wasn't going away. Just a little bump coming out the side of her face. So about two weeks ago we had it uh, cut off. And she's been doing fantastic since. Uh, no issues at all with the recovery. Um... Yeah, she's she's doing really really well. Oh, oh, that looks awesome, Rach. I just saw those pictures. Oh, you look so nice. That's so cool. I don't have long hair, or else I would I would maybe do something. I don't know. I still have to. Uh, one of these days I'll one of these days I'll dye my hair again. It's been a while. I don't want to scare everybody at my new job, uh, dyeing my hair right away. All right, I think we're all caught up. I have to open up some Pokemon cards. Let's do that. Let's open up some Pokemon cards. Actually, today, let me, let me turn off that, turn that on. Uh, literally just today, a new, a new set of Pokemon cards came out. So I haven't even opened this up yet. This is a set of, um, this is a set of Paradox Rift. This is this is brand new. So let's open up a couple of these. We got to open up one for uh, Detective Rach resubbing, and we've got to open up one for uh, Red and Korok. We got to spin the wheel, and we got to open up one for Unresolved. All right, even all these like channel point redemption alerts are also new. So. Let me know if you see any pro- I've only actually redone a couple of them so far. Um, because I was- I wanted to test to make sure they work. But it seems like everything is working okay so far. Other than I've noticed, like, the text size seemed a little small on this new alert program. So, like, if, if you if, if you see any text that's hard to read or things are a little small- the revolution has begun. I mean, the redemption itself isn't new, but all the alerts are new because I'm using the integrated Twitch alerts now. Um, all right, spin the wheel, round and round it goes, where it lands, goose. All right, everybody, we'll be right back. Uh, what you've done too is set up different alert boxes, uh, full screen mini. Oh, that's a good idea. I might have to do something like that. Right now I have everything in one alert box just because that's how I typically set up my scenes, but I need to clean up OBS. I have way too much stuff I don't use on it. Anyway, all right. So this is the uh, the Paradox Rift thing. Um, so there's six packs in here. So we'll go in the order that everybody resubscribes. So uh, Detective Rach, pick a number between one and six. And then I'll, I'll open up that pack, and then we'll go to Random Korok, and then Undissolve. Number four. All right. One, two, three, four. 
All right, Korok, if you, uh, here's that pack, by the way. Uh, if uh, you would like to pick a number between one and five, you can go ahead and do that, and I'll pick that out after I finish opening up this one pack. Now, I'm pretty sure the, I'm pretty sure the card rule is just one. Pretty sure it's just one for these, so I'll just do one. All right, here we go. We've got a basic leaf grass energy thing. We've got a Fue Coco hiding under a leaf. That's cute. We've got Hone Edge. We've got a Dwebble. We've got a Horsey. We've got a Chantal. I still need to finish playing uh, Scarlet and Violet. I have not done that yet. We've got Garbodor. Is it Hun Edge or Hon Uh We've got Technical Machine Evolution. Who's Veer? Who's Veer? Who's Veer? We've got a Reverse Holographic Volcanion. That one's pretty cool. I like that. Garbodor? Oh no. We've got Reverse Holographic Mantike. And, last but not least, oh my god, the card's bent. Look at that. Look at that, it's bent. Ferret, enjoy the lurk. We've got Sandy Shocks EX. It's all sparkly. It's all sparkly, but it's bent. Oh no. <laughs> we, got a, we got an error pack. We've got an error pack. You can see the bend. <laughs> oh, that's a cool, uh, that's a cool holographic, though. It's got stars and stuff on it. I wonder if I can get this graded as an error card, as a misprint. Oh, that's too bad. That's too bad. That's still a really cool card, though. I, I do like that. I do like that. All right, Random Korok said number two. So we'll go ahead and do that one next. And then Undissolved... You can go ahead and pick a number between one and four. Here's number two. Seven? All right. Seven it is. I also got a whole bunch of those uh, Pokemon 151 packs that I heard are extremely hard to find. I was able to get a, a bunch pre-ordered, so. Um, okay. I'm feeling the back. This card is not bumpy, so I think we're okay now. We've got a Water Energy. We've got Panseer. One of my favorite from that generation. Uh, unidentified Ghost Pokemon. I've never seen that before. Exclamation Poke Catch. If you want to try to catch that unknown ghost. We've got Nicket. There's Veery. There's Veery. We've got Gligar. Followed by Blipbug. And we've got a Crocolore, Evolution of Quakeoko. Got Tulip. Uh, Don Dozo. Must be a newer one. I'm not familiar with this one. Tandem Mouse, Reverse Holographic. Mian Shao, Reverse Holographic. And last but not least, Holographic Groudon. Not a full art, but still a pretty cool card. Good pick. Random Korok. I like that. I like that Groudon. All right, and Undissolved picked seven. So we'll go ahead and pick pack seven, which uh, we'll have to do a little bit of uh, creative thinking to uh, find seven. So here's four, so we'll go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That's this one. That one right there. Unidentified ghost caught by Bohemian Moon and random Korok. Huh. I'm surprised it doesn't tell you what it is after it's done like that. What did you catch? Do you have any idea what uh, what Pokemon it was? All right. 
No bumps. We're okay. All right, starting off with a metal energy. Nackly? Nackly? I'm not familiar with this one. Must be a new one. Aerosol Lady. Porygon 2. Ooh, I like the art on it. It's really cool. A Ghastly? Ah, that makes sense. Makes a lot of sense. Got Octillery. Uh, Minior. A Crocolore again. A Tulip again. Bound Sweet Reverse Holographic. Cloth. Oh, I love his face. It's so goofy. Reverse Holographic. And Zacian Holographic. Nice. Nice. I do have to say, I wasn't sure how I felt about these, uh, like, Silver Edge cards at first, but the holographic on these Silver Edge cards is very sharp looking. Very, very sharp looking. Mighty Anna, which is not Ghost. <laughs> you caught a dead Mighty Anna? Is that what I'm hearing here? I'm pretty sure I'm hearing that you caught a dead Mighty Anna. All right, I'm also going to open up one of those Pokemon 151 packs because there is a new Growlithe card in those packs. And I have not gotten one of those. So I'm going to, uh, I just picked a random one. This is what the pack looks like. We'll go ahead and open that and then we'll play some games. I've been live for 45 minutes and I've just been talking. I'm more of a podcaster at this point. There's that. There's that. Alright, I'm pretty sure the card trick's still just one. Whoa! We've got a holographic lightning energy. That's cool. That's really cool. I've never... It's been a while since I've seen uh, holographic energy cards. Nothing wrong with that. Alright, here we go. We've got a Rattata. Squirtle. Now, in case you didn't get the thing here it's all it's all original pokemon enjoy chatting with you i enjoy chatting with you too the revolution has begun ashley rose welcome on in how's it going my friend got a lickitung yeah it's all the original 151 pokemon got a venonat looking for a grab got a tentacruel hitmon lee Pretty cool art. Got a war turtle. Seems like this is like a water pack. A lot, of, a lot of water ones. Welcome back. Thank you, Ashley Rose. Thank you for the bits. It's nice to see you, my friend. I hope you are doing well. Got a reverse holographic Magikarp. Honestly, a fantastic card. Love Magikarp. Got a, ho a reverse holographic Rapidash. That's pretty cool. Schmibbles would like this. Schmibbles likes Rapidash. Last but not least. Holographic Nido King. All right. You see what I mean, though, about, like, the, the silver around the edges with the holographic? I just think it looks very sharp. Very, very nice looking. Very nice looking. May the kitty upset trimmed his claws. No! Tell the kitty I said hi. All right, let's play some games. Let's do some Vigia games. I just gotta finish uh just gotta finish putting this pack back together so i don't damage these cards yeah gaming what is that what is that i have no idea uh anybody interested in joining anybody is interested let me know all right nate just sent you an invite claws were getting stuck in the carpet and rugs ah well yeah i i can understand why why you would need to uh do that then they absolutely yeah if you'd like to join uh you just need to remind me what your username is when you log in if we've played before i think we've played before if not you just gotta send a friend request it's just reach bet on uh epic uh, let's take a look at the store. I haven't... It's been a while since I've played. All right, we got the SpongeBob crew again. Uh, WWE again. A lot of WWE. Doomacorn. I like that. I like that. 
Got Ghostbusters for Halloween. A lot more Ghostbusters. Cheese Chaser. That's pretty cool. If I had more show bucks. Ooh, the koala's pretty cool, too. I'd get some of these. Oh, I could get... Uh, I could get some of these with kudos. I, I do still have a lot of kudos. Three years, OMG. Three years indeed. Guys, can we get some hype in the chat for Daniela coming on in with that resub? I was not expecting to come back to this screen and seeing Nate as handsome as Squidward. That was a bit of a jump scare. <laughs> uh, Daniela, enjoy another month of the emotes, the ad free viewing, access to our subscribers only Discord channel, and of course, that special subscribers only place. You get right in my heart. Speaking of emotes, I know I mentioned it earlier, but we've got two new emotes. We've got the Reach P1 Bark. We've got the Reach P1 Pat. And another one possibly in progress. I just need to order it once the artist's commissions open back up again. But yes, new emotes. New emotes. How's it going, Daniela? I hope you're doing well. I actually got to see Daniela was it last week I think it was a I think it was a week ago today I I had dinner with Daniela she 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 uh she she walked halfway across the uh walked halfway across the country just to come have dinner with me fun fact we actually ordered the same thing for dinner uh neither of us knew what the other person was going to order but we both got the crispy chicken wrap with a side of ranch and a side of french fries. Um, I ordered and then she started laughing and was like, I want the same thing. So we had the same thing. Yeah, she got extra ranch. Uh, I just had I just had the standard, uh, standard ranch. Uh, Mia, are you blue rooster? Uh, but yeah, it was awesome getting to see you. Uh, and I saw Hockey Goalie as well. He was he was there. Um, he did not order the same thing as me, so it was it was not quite as fun. But uh, you know, don't tell him I said that. <laughs> uh, but yeah, it was great getting to see both of you. Uh, send me a picture of Diesel. Yes, please do. Share, share, share. All right, uh, Mia, I just sent over an invite. Like, no worries, no worries at all. Yeah, I just need to get, uh, I need to get partner on Twitch. And then I could have, like, the reach as my prefix. And then I could have reach pat as the emote. It would be, it would be fantastic. So, I'm actually a little late, because, um, the reason why it's reach p1 is because there is another streamer out there. His name is reach pool. Um, like, as a knockoff of Deadpool. Um... And he just has R-E-A-C-H-P as his prefix. So, um, if you want, we can all go over there and, and have a fight over in, in their community and, and try to steal it. Um, or we can just live with the, the Reach P1. I was trying to figure out a way to, like, make the 1 into an A and then make the Pat emote just a... T, but it, it, I figured it was too complicated. So there's it, there's there's an extra P in there. Reach pet, but uh, it works. I think it's cute. Hope you all like it. All right. Actually, wait, wait. Uh, Daniela, we gotta open up some Pokemon cards for you. I know we we just opened up a whole bunch of cards, but I gotta I gotta open up because if I don't do it now, I am absolutely going to forget. And that's not fair. So, I got a I got a pack of these uh, Scarlet and Violet 151 cards. I'm gonna open these up real quick. We're looking for a Growlithe. These are all the original 151 Pokemon. That's all that's in this set. And I'm looking for a Growlithe card. All right, starting off with a Flame Energy. That's uh, that's a good start. Got a Drowsy. Bulbasaur, very cute. 
Dratini. Also very cute. Hey, we did it. We did it. That's what I was looking for. That's what I was looking for. I can add it to my Growlithe collection. Look at how cute that is. Look at look at his face. He's just so happy. He's having such a good time. It is the power of the chicken wrap. <laughs> I want to get that on a t-shirt. Let's play TKO real quick and everybody make their slogan. It was the power of the chicken wrap. All right, we got a Hypno. Looks like you. <laughs> We're twins. We got Polyrath. Got Pidgeot. All right, more twins. More twins. We've got a reverse hollow Pidgeot as well. That seems like that's been happening to us a lot. The, the past couple of streams. I know it's been a while since I've streamed, but we've we've had a couple of times where we pulled the same card back to back. We got reverse holographic Vault Orb. Last but not least. Holographic Articuno, look at that. Good card, good card. All right, so I have this one other pack of cards that um, I was thinking about waiting, and we can we can we can vote real quick on if I should open these or not today. So when I pre-ordered um, Super Mario Wonder, they sent me this pack of trading cards. Now, one in every 1,000 packs has a very specific holographic card that is going on eBay for a lot of money. Nate Nick! Guys, can we get some hype in the chat for Nate gifting a sub to Bohemian Moon? Thank you so much, Nate. Bohemian Moon, enjoy! The emotes, the ad-free viewing, access to our subscribers-only Discord channel, and of course, that special place right in my heart. Enjoy! Thank you so much for the support, Nate. All right, I need to see if I can find that, um, hold on, Super Mario Wonder Rare. Um, okay, so it's, it's... It looks like it's Holographic Elephant Mario is the rare card. Pretty sure it's Holographic Elephant Mario. So should I should I open these now? This Holographic Elephant Mario card is going for over a thousand dollars online, and it's only in one in every one thousand packs. Should we see? Should we see? Ooh, there's an Absol in the chat! Exclamation Poke Catch! If you want to try to catch that Absol. All right, I'm going to open these up. I don't know if there's a card trick with this. I don't really know what to expect. But uh, we'll open these up and see what we've got. If, if I have that holographic elephant Mario Kart in here, I will gift everybody who is not subscribed currently a subscription. If we manage to get that one in 1,000 pull. Everybody in chat right now, I will gift every single one of you a subscription. If we pull it. Alright. Here we go. Alright, we've got Mario. I don't know how these cards work. Mario is the undisputed hero of the Mushroom Kingdom. He's always there to help his friends and take out enemies. We've got Peach. Princess of the Mushroom Kingdom loves going out adventures with Mario and friends. We've got Yoshis. These longtime companions to Mario can grab things with their long, sticky tongues and flutter jump to rescue. We've got Hoppo. Hoppo starts rolling when Mario or his friends jump on it and can make for a great bouncy platform. I saw holographic. It is holographic superstar. Not the not the one I was looking for. Superstar. Superstars make Mario and friends invincible to enemies. There's another one. We got Wubba Mario. I'm gonna have to see if any of these cards are worth anything, by the way. 
a Wonder Flower and Wubba Ruins transforms Mario into Wubba Mario. Yeah, Wubba. Shrutten Piranha Plants. These walking piranha plants will start singing once a certain Wonder Flower and Pipe Rock Plateau is touched. None of these things make sense because I have not played this game yet. Daisy! Despite being royalty, Daisy is totally down to earth and is always ready for a challenge. Toads! Toads are small in stature, but have the biggest hearts and friendliest faces in the Mushroom Kingdom. And Talking Flower, last card. These flowers will chat with Mario and friends to liven up their adventure or give hints. All right, unfortunately, no, no thousand dollar card. I, I, I wasn't expecting it. I think it would have been absolutely insane if I did get the thousand dollar card, but uh, still pretty cool. These are very thick. They're, they're much thicker than regular like Pokemon cards like this. I had a hard time. The reason why I had to stall so long is because I, I couldn't get the cards out of the pack because they're so thick. And the pack is very tight. And now I can't get him back in. Now I can't get him back in the pack. Would have been crazy. I know. Yeah, that would have been absolutely insane if uh, if we had done that. All right. I am ready. If you two are ready, let's do it. Let's do it. And if anybody else would like to play at any point, let me know. We got one spot left. Got one spot left. Um, oh, and I, I will have to open up another pack for uh, Bohemian Moon. Uh, Nate gifting a sub to Bohemian Moon. You gotta open up another pack. We'll do that later. Let's actually get to some gameplay. I've been live for a minute and a half short of an hour, and there's been absolutely no gameplay. It's alright. We're just warming up. We're just warming up. That's all that's happening right now. I will also admit that I am a little bit rusty. Haven't played in a while. Pat is channeling Dogfish tonight. Yeah, I felt so bad, so I I, I was going to go hang out with uh, Dogfish the other day. And I went on a stream, and I was like, I was so excited to watch him play some games and stuff. It was like 40 minutes in. I'm falling asleep, and he's still just chatting with everybody. I'm like, oh, I missed this, but I got to go. I got to go. I gotta go go to bed. It was getting late. It's the warm-up Pokemon packs. Exactly, Nate. See, this is why I keep you around. How can you get a pack open? So there's three ways to get a pack of Pokemon cards open. Um, so you can use 20,000 channel points to redeem for that. You can redeem 5,000 channel points and hope it lands on Pokemon cards when you spin the wheel. Or you can subscribe slash... Donate, uh, cheer, cheer 500 bits slash donate $5 on my Ko-Fi page. And then I'll open up Pokemon cards that way. Thank you for the hydration reminder. I've been talking for an hour. I should probably drink something. Get a long queue wait in the forest here. Ah. All right, let's try again. Let's try again. It's okay. That was just the warm-up cue. That was that was just the warm-up cue. Now, I was thinking about playing Mario Wonder tonight and tomorrow, maybe Sunday. But I want to make some progress on the season pass for this because it ends in a couple days. And if I can get to tier 36, I'll be able to get enough show bucks to basically get the fame pass for free. So once you get to tier 36, you've earned enough show bucks to pay yourself back for buying the fame pass. So I'm on tier like 20 something. So we only need to get to 36. Does anybody know if uh, Double Fame is still live? I know that was live the last time I played a week ago or so. If 
but I, I haven't played any warm-up rounds or anything today. I'm coming in fresh. Coming in fresh. Game canceling is its way of saying no Fall Guys, only Pokemon cards. I mean, honestly, I could just be an opening Pokemon card streamer. I would need to uh, stream a lot more often so I can make a lot more money off of this to afford all the cards. Or I could just tell people to send me cards. And then I'll open them that way. But, um, I still have a drawer full of cards from last Christmas. I got so many packs for Christmas. And I've still been buying them, because every time a new... Every time a new set's come out, I've ordered the... Like, the six-pack bundle of the, of the new one. So I have... Oh my gosh, let me... Let me do a really quick estimate here. Uh... I probably have about 160 packs that I haven't opened yet. Like, I'm not exaggerating when I say that. Like, when I do a very quick estimate, like, there's an entire drawer here just full of unopened packs of cards. Like, it's ridiculous. So many. So many. So maybe maybe I do need to become a full time uh, Pokemon card opening streamer here for a little while. <laughs> well, here's the thing, Bohemian Moon. I only buy myself one pack or one box of anything new that comes out. So it's not even it's not even like it's a self control problem because I have set my limits and I am not going above the limits that I set for myself. So it's it's well within... I mean, it's within my... I budget for it because I know how often new sets come out and I know exactly how much they cost. It's just a matter of I buy them and then I don't stream for three months and then they just collect dust in my drawer. So may, maybe I... <laughs> maybe I do need to uh, change my purchasing habits a little bit. Or I just need to stream uh, both of those things could be true. I need to stop spending money on these, and I need to stream more. That way, I can make good use of the money that I have spent. But, I mean, we've already opened, what, five, six packs this evening? So, it's all part of getting back into a healthy routine. Get us crying. BRB? All right, sounds good. Tell them I said hi. Like the ladder? Yeah. I just need to stream non-stop until I uh, open up all of those. Let's see. I think I, I did a Pokemon card opening stream once. It took me, what, like an hour? That was a charity reward. I opened up 36 packs in a row. It took me about an hour. So if I have 160... Which is roughly four times that. I can open up all the packs that I have in about four hours. Roughly. Very, very rough, rough, rough math. I mean, I've already been talking for one hour. If you want, after we uh, finish this round, I'll just spend the next four hours opening Pokemon cards. I'm sure that would go well. Them in a paper shredder and they'll be open in like five minutes um i can't argue that that is something that could happen yes um but with the amount of money that i've spent and i mean who's gotten me cards that are in that box so uh, my mom bought me a lot um my sister bought me a few. I think the mods bought me some. Because I, I think I still have some in there from the the Christmas gift that I got from the mods from last year. So, yeah, I, uh... 
I definitely could just throw them in a paper shredder. I actually saw, uh, there's a, a guy that makes shorts. I just saw him for the first time. Um, he spins a wheel. And, like, some of the options on the wheel are cutting, like, the holographic cards. So he'll open a pack. And then if he spins cut on the wheel, so I think the options are, like, cut, bend, keep. I'm not sure what, what the other ones are. But, um... I saw one where he literally just cut the, the card in half. Uh, I did not clutch. I, uh, I did not clutch. I'm sorry. <laughs> we can back out. We can back out. Ferret going to bed. Guys, can we get some good nights in the chat for Ferret Fawcett? Thank you so much for hanging out, my friend. It was great to see you. I might be live tomorrow. I cannot guarantee anything for legal reasons. But there is a distinct possibility that that is a potential option that could possibly happen. Check Discord. Check Discord. All right, let's try that again. That was just the warm up. That's okay. That's okay. Check the Discord before you go to bed. Let me check right now. Oh my God, he's so cute. He's so cute. If you'd like to share pictures in discord you're more than welcome to fair you're more than welcome to and i saw your other thing fair or no that was that was an old message never mind that was an old message never mind never mind yeah if anybody has any uh cute animal pictures so i got bad news i got bad news we called the town and my i can say wife now because we're married my wife and i were thinking about getting geese or chickens. Probably not ducks. But the town said no. Uh, we... We, uh... Apparently don't have a big enough yard. So, um... The way the town ordinance are, uh, is written right now, you need at least five acres to keep, uh... Uh, birds on your property. Uh, like chickens, uh... Geese, that sort of thing. They said if we had a bigger yard, we absolutely could. But the problem is that our yard is just simply not big enough, even though we have an acre. We, ha we have just shy of an acre. We, uh, that is that is not good enough, says the town. So, if anybody wants to write any angry letters to the town and uh, just, like, honk at them, uh, that would be appreciated. Um, speaking of stuff at the town, so I'm not... Uh, I'm not doing this to, to get on anybody's bad side, but we have a neighbor who, uh, my... I have to say it now. My wife, because we're married. It's weird. It's weird saying that. Uh, I mean, you all know how long it took me to stop saying girlfriend and start saying fiance. Um, uh, there's a weasel in the chat, by the way. Uh, she was walking the dogs down the street uh, earlier, and then... Two dogs got loose from this person's yard, ran across two lanes of traffic on a, a busy road, and um, started, like, growling, baring their teeth and acting like they were going to attack Shelby and Kaya. So luckily she was able to get away, but, like, the owner wasn't around, and I was talking to her about it, and apparently this isn't even the first time that's happened, and the last time the dogs got out, one of them bit Kaya. Um, she wasn't bleeding or anything, but, like, the owners aren't around. It's on a busy road. There's no fence. There's no, like, rope or anything to tie them out on. Um, and one of these days, the dog's either going to seriously hurt my dogs or get hit by a car because it's a 40-mile-an-hour street, but everybody regularly goes 50-55 down this. Um... And they're not going to have time to react if a, if a dog bolts out last second to, to come after my dog. So, um, I called the, uh, the town earlier and they have somebody on, uh, uh, like dog, uh, dog, uh, control. So we're going to submit a, uh, we're going to submit a complaint, not to try to get the dog taken away or anything, but just to, um, the, the, the they'll be issued with a warning, uh, because it, it does violate the town ordinances to, to have their dog loose like that. It, it's unsafe for their dog. It's unsafe for my dog. Um, 
And I, I, I really hate being that person that, that complains, but I mean, their dog bit Kaya. And Kaya, you've all seen Kaya. She's the, the chillest, sweetest dog. She doesn't do anything. She just lays there. And when she's going for a walk, she just, she just walks. She doesn't bark. She doesn't growl. She just kind of does her own thing because she just loves going for a walk. So I do feel a little bit bad being that person that complains. But at the end of the day, that's what the that's what the town's there for. And if they're being unsafe, I need to I need to look out for my girls, you know? Alright, good run, good run. A lot better than the last time on this uh this one. I, I struggled a bit the last time. this Mia you got this creeper overlord is our teammate here so the trick with this one is you want to try to stay in uh, aim for like the middle of each of the different platforms so try to jump when you get when it's when it's coming around to the middle you'll you'll have you'll have uh, a little bit better luck and you could ride it as long as you want. Uh, it'll it'll go around, which is nice. All right, we're on to the next one. My chat break on me? Can somebody say something? I have not seen anything since, uh, oh, okay. No, nope, it's good. We're good. We're good. I got concerned because I, I have changed around like everything on my internet since the last time I streamed new modem, new router. So I'm really <laughs> hoping that fixed some of these problems, but uh, we'll see. We shall see. All right, here we go. Hoops. I've never been good at hoops. All right, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go focus on different hoops because that's not gonna be useful. Ah, too late. Too late. Let me the hoop. All right, we got one point. I did a point. I did two points. Come on, hoops. Aha. I'll be back after I'm done with work, but hi. Hi, Schmibbles! Guys, we get some hype in the chat for Schmibbles coming on in with the 36 month resub. Schmibbles, thank you so much for the support. Enjoy another month of the emotes, the ad free viewing, access to our subscribers only Discord channel. And of course, that super special place you get right in my heart. Hope you're doing well, Schmibbles. We'll see you once you get home from work. Thanks for stopping by. I appreciate the support. We had to open up another pack of Pokemon cards for Schmibbles as well. We'll take care of that here in just a minute. All right, there's room for one more squad. Got to get through the hoops. That was not a good one. Zombie as me. Nice to see you, my friend. How's it going? It is a pet. Happy time zone to you, too. Aww. All right, no luck that time. That's all right. It's just a warm up round. It's just a warm up round. How's it going, Zombie as me? Hope you are doing fantastic. 
That's two packs of cards, it is. Two packs of cards, indeed. All right, we'll take a quick pause and go ahead and do that. I'm going to keep opening up these uh, 151 packs because they're really cool. Miss you guys. I miss you too. I hope you've been doing well. I I really hope that uh, I can be more consistent about getting back into streaming this time. I know, I know I've said that before, but uh, we'll see what happens this time. Okay, here we go. This one is for Nate gifting a sub to Bohemian Moon. So this is Nate and Bohemian Moon's pack. Starting off with a water energy. Got a Pidgey. Ooh, I like that Pidgey art. Got a Metapod. And these packs are going for a decent amount of money because they, they didn't make too many of them and they're extremely popular. But I was able to get them real cheap because I, I, I know a guy. Uh, Ponyta. I'm not sure Schmibbles is still here, but I know Schmibbles loves Ponyta. Got Poliwag. Make a little angy face. Got Hypno. Got Polyrath. Got Pidgeot. I want a Pidgeotto. Pidgeotto is one of my favorite Gen 1 Pokemon. Uh, we got Reverse Holographic Machop. Reverse Holographic Sand Slash. I'm not sure if they do Reverse Holographic Growlithe in this set. I think they do, so I, I want one of those, too. Last but not least, Holographic Chansey. Nice. It's a cool-looking card. All right. That was Nate and Bohemian Moon's pack. And you got to open up one more. Gotta put these away first. Make sure they don't get damaged before I put them in my binder. And one more pack of 151. I think if, uh, if anybody else subscribes, we'll we'll go back to our usual uh, go back to our usual method. Oop, sorry, zombie has me. Uh, random card redeeming. Open a pack of cards. So we'll do that real quick too. I'll let you pick a random one. Uh, my brother and I asked our friend went to Japan to get a couple of 151 Japanese packs. Opened a couple days, unpacked a Charizard Special Art Rare. Oh, that is awesome. I want to see if I can get something cool like that. That would be really nice. All right, we've got an Electric Energy. We've got Magmar. Oh, I like the art on this card. Very bright, very vibrant. Welcome back, Bohemian Moon. Got a horsey. Got Abra. Oh, that's cool. I like that art. So I, I, I really like the art on this entire set. It's a very good set. Got Diglett. Tentacruel. I think that was a duplicate. Hitmonlee. Got a Wartortle. Holographic, uh, a reverse holographic primate. Whoa! That's gonna go in a sleeve. Look at that! We got a full art Ivysaur! Oh! -ho -ho. That is a secret rare, my friends. That is a secret rare. I gotta put this, uh, I've got the special Pokemon 151 sleeves. I gotta put it in one of those. Oh, nice card. Nice card. And last but not least, oh, back-to-back, ho, ho! -back, look at that Mewtwo. It's not a full art card, but still, that is intense. That is an intense-looking Mewtwo. Woohoo! I'm very happy about this Ivysaur card. That is one of the secrets. Yeah, because it's, it's, it's 167 out of 165. Oh, that is so cool. Such a cool card. Very happy about that. That's going in my that's going in my good pile. That's going in my good. I'm gonna put this uh, Mewtwo in my good pile too. Woo. All right, random Korok. 
I'll give you the option. It's up to you. Do you want me to open up another 151 pack or do you want to go to the random pack selector? It is completely up to you, my friend. One fifty one. All right. I got a couple more of them. Actually, I'm, I'm down to three. Oh, I think I have more that I haven't opened yet. Yeah, I have, I have another box that I, I think I could open. All right, we got another 151 set. One of these days, we'll get back to Fall Guys. Okay, here we go. All right, card trick is just one. All right, let's see if we can have the same luck this time. All right, we've got a Grass Energy. Got a Sand Shrew. Got a Seal. Oh, just absolutely passed out. I love that. Caught. Got Doduo. Tentacool. Gloom. Doug Trio. Clefable. This has been a good pack so far. Reverse Holographic Magnemite. Can't tell if that's one of the clay. I think it is. I think that's one of the ones where they it's made out of clay. They take a picture of it. Very cool. I, lo I loved it. Oh, we've got another seal. <laughs> Two seals in the same pack. This one is holographic. Last but not least, a holographic Starmie. I love that art. Oh, this entire set. The art is just fantastic. Cool, literally. <laughs> All right. Thank you all for that. Thanks again, Random Korok, for that channel point redemption. And thank you, Schmibbles, for that re-subscription. Appreciate it. All right. Who's ready for some more Fall Guys? It would help if I changed the screen, wouldn't it? All right. Let's do it. Let's do it. I'm actually going to... Uh, I know I know nobody's hi uh, redeemed hydrate recently, but I'm going to hydrate here. I hope you all will forgive me for uh, hydrating without permission. Oh, thank you, Nate. See, it's like the mashed potatoes thing, you know? I gotta... You, you, somebody's gotta pay for me to drink. Just like a uh, do Dogfish's channel, you gotta... You gotta pay to make yourself mashed potatoes. Data stock. I think it's on a one minute timer. Um, I think there was a stream where you all tried to drown me. So I set it on a one minute timer. So it'll it'll come back in stock. Alright, here we go. Good luck everyone. No! Alright, we made. We made. I do like how in duos and squads it doesn't have any of the uh, the the creative levels. I do like them, but in solos, I just get kind of frustrated recently with how many of the levels are the creator made ones. Especially after they unvault so many of the regular ones. It's like, I, I, I don't mind playing some of the creative, uh, like, made ones every now and then. But the, the existing ones are the ones that I want to play, you know? So that's why I like doing squads and, uh, and duos. Because I, I have the chance to uh, play a lot of the classic levels. Especially the unvaulted ones. That was a good race name. Very, very close race. I'm surprised I got you. All right. Good work, squad. That was a good one. 
That was a good one. I was to drown you? Never. So, fun fact. So, I mean, most of you know I used to be a lifeguard. Um, they opened up a, uh, a store near me. Oh, thank you for the hydration reminder. Basically, the way it works is they get a lot of, um, hold on, I, I gotta sip. They get a lot of, like, Amazon returns and overstock items. And, um, they, everything in the store is the same price. So when you walk in, the day they restock, everything in the store is $9. If you come in the next day, everything in the store is $7. Then the next day, everything's $5. Then it's $3, and it's $2, and it's $1, and then they're closed for a day to restock. So, I figured I'd check it out, you know? I, 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 uh... I've never been to one. I thought it was an interesting concept. So while I was there, I found a like swimming pool rules sign. So it's like no running, no eating, no shoving, no diving in the shallow end. I don't have a pool. I don't ever plan on putting in a pool at this house. I bought it because I used to be a lifeguard and I thought it was funny. And now it's mounted to my door. <laughs> so if anybody ever comes and visits, uh, right on the door of my stream room, there is a sign with pool rules. Just so you're aware, of that that is that is really the only reason why I have them. Uh, trying to go all out with creative mode levels. Uh, the levels they feature don't have the same vibes as the standard. Level. Yeah, I agree. I definitely agree. I, I I don't mind having the creator ones in there. I just wish they weren't there as frequently. Because it's like 50% of the levels of the creator made ones. And there's usually only a couple in the rotation at any given time. So you're seeing the same levels over and over and over and over again. And then these like classic rounds that you want to play, um, you rarely ever see them because there's so much of a focus on the creator ones the rules for a kiddie pool the dogs play in so we actually bought kaya a kiddie pool before we had shelby and she just couldn't figure it out like just did not understand what she was supposed to do so we ended up returning it and got our money back because she just she was just so confused she's not a huge fan of swimming um like we would take her to the beach and stuff when we lived right there and uh she would get in the water, but she was more interested in just going for a walk. So, uh, I'm not sure how Shelby would do. We used to bring Shelby to the beach, like, right when we first got her. Um, but it was a similar thing, uh, it was a similar thing to Kaya, where I don't think she really understood what she was supposed to do in the water. Still likes tub water that is true they both do kai is a lot worse about it but yeah they both like tub water um and they they both will smack you to do tub to get tub water um so we actually finally just had our ceiling repaired uh from when i fell through the ceiling back in march they just finished repairing it this week um just because there's been a lot of issues and stuff with them coming over. Uh, anyway, so they were in there painting and stuff. And Kaya just kept following them into the bathroom. Because she wanted tub water. And she kept getting in the way of their, like, power tools. Because she wanted tub water. So we ended up needing to uh, put up baby gates to keep both of the well, Shelby would follow them just because she wanted attention but Kaya would follow them because she wanted tub water we had to put up baby gates to keep them out of there because they just kept harassing the contractors and the funniest part was the contractors kept stopping to do what the dogs wanted and then the, the, the contractor's boss was getting mad at the people that were working there because they were taking too long and they're like well I gotta pet the dog and he's like no you gotta work it was a good time. It was, it was a very good time. 
Ooh, we got perfect deathmatch. Perfect deathmatch. Yeah, they gotta pet the dog. That's that's what they gotta do. Right, come on, the grape. Watermelon's in there. What's the trick with this level? Is it the top left one is always the correct one? Come on, great. Okay, definitely not the top left one. Maybe it's maybe it's this. One. They patched that. Ah, okay. Okay. Banana apple thing. Cherry. Watermelon. Banana apple cherry. Watermelon. Banana. Apple cherry. <coughs> Watermelon. Banana. Apple cherry. Banana. Ew. Ugh. They knew. They knew. Okay. Grape, apple, cherry. So grape, apple. Grape, apple. Grape, apple, cherry, banana, orange. Grape, apple. Grape, apple. Cherry, banana, orange. Grape, apple. Cherry, banana. Double banana. No, thank you. No, thank you. A while ago, I was playing this level off stream, and everybody fell off except me in solos. So I just won on that round. I, w I was definitely not expecting that. That That's happened with that one, and then the... Um, uh, what's the one where the, the blocks come forward at you, like a uh, hole in the wall type thing? I think I... Block party, yeah. I think I posted that video in Discord because I have a, a screen recording program that automatically captures when I win. Yeah, just crazy. It's like... Not everybody is supposed to die on these, and yet... It's happened to me multiple times. I guess why they're survival rooms. That, that's why they're survival rooms. Okay, yeah, I gotta go left there. Go, 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 go! Oh, oh, oh. I hate how chaotic the end of this is. This one and uh, DoorDash are in front. But we did it. We did it. All right. We are into the final. Into Nate and I's faces were invisible. Did you see that? Did you see that, Nate? Our faces were invisible. I'm not sure if it happened on your end, too. But uh, our faces were see-through. Invisible beans above. Gotcha. Okay. All right. Who has the tail? Okay. The other team has the tail. The other team has the tail. We got we to gotta grab it. Five seconds to get the tail. I keep falling off. All right, thirty seconds. had it there. No! 
<laughs> no! <laughs> oh, that's tough. That was tough. Uh, GG's though. GG's though. We almost had him. We almost had him. Yeah, they were very good. We'll get him next time. It's okay. We're just warming up. We're just warming up. We're just getting started. 3,000 crowns? Yeah, that would do it. Oh, look at all that. Uh, look at all that fame. A lot of fame. What other uh, challenges do I have here? Got to play a few more shows. Got to win a show. That's the big thing. That'll get us a lot of, a lot of fame. All right, let's try it again. Let's try it again. Don't forget to hydrate, everybody. Don't forget to stretch. Don't forget to say hi to your animals. Don't forget to balance your checkbook. All that good stuff. All right, let's spin the wheel. Invisible face bean on treat thieves. Congratulations, Mia, you have won nothing. Thank you for that hydration reminder. Hey, Aster Caster. How's it going, my friend? Nice to see you. We, we can do some treat thieves later if you're interested. Can't remember the last time you balanced your checkbook. I have an online budgeting tool that I use. Um, so I don't balance my checkbook, but I balance my budget all the time. It's basically just a like a, a digital version of envelope budgeting where all of my money's in one bank account. But then on my budgeting app, I allocate the money to different things. So I'll have like my, my, my gas budget for the month. I'll have my like food budget for the month. I'll have my etc budget for the month but then i also have recurring costs on there so i'll have like i know that i'm subscribed to this many twitch channels so that's gonna cost me this much money. i know that um like discord uh costs this much a year and then instead of trying to get all the money for it all at once it'll split the cost up until i need to pay for it again so it'll it'll split up like the cost of the, the, the Discord subscription over 12 months. Uh, that way I'll, I'll put a couple dollars aside every month and, and that way I have the money when it's ready. And I'll do that for like renewing my license and for a whole bunch of other stuff. Uh, there is a Dodrio in the chat, exclamation poke catch. So I don't balance my checkbook, but I do balance my budget. That's smart. Yeah, it's a, it's a really, really, really nice tool. Um, it has a, a it, it tells you like your total income versus expenses every month, so you can adjust your budgets to make sure you're planning properly. Um, it tells you your age of money, which is a pretty cool tool. Um, because the the goal of the budget is that you should have enough money in your account to pay for all of next month's expenses before that month. So like this month, I should have all of the money in my account to pay all of my December bills by the end of November. So it has a age of money, which is basically from the minute the money I, I make the money from the minute the money goes into my account. How long does it stay in my account before I spend it? And the goal is to have that at least 30 days because that means that you're always a month ahead. And the longer the better. Now it was great before I bought my house and spent all of the money that I have um, because I was several months ahead of my budget. Now that I bought the house, I, I'm trying to work on getting back to being a month ahead. We're getting, we're getting. The new job will definitely help. Because um, I, I did get a pretty, 
pretty nice pay raise at the, at the new job. So I'm excited about that. Wish you could do that. Yeah, no, it's 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 very hard if like your your income and your expenses are kind of in line. Especially if there's nothing you can really cut back on, because at the end of the day, like you gotta feed your kids, you gotta feed yourself, you gotta have gas so that you can get to work. You gotta have clothes, you gotta pay your mortgage or pay your rent, you gotta pay for insurance. Being an adult is expensive. I want to be a kid again when my parents just took care of everything, you know? <laughs> it was a simpler time. Before the times of taxes and health insurance. Hey, Schmibbles, welcome back. You missed it, Schmibbles. Did you see the really cool Pokemon card that we pulled? I don't know if you saw it. We got this really, really cool full art Ivy sword card. Very, very, very cool card. Uh, look at his, he's looking at his reflection in the water. Oops. Uh, you're a rainbow tiger now. Yeah, so actually, the, um, the rainbow tiger sub badge is the last one that I have. So once you get to the rainbow, that's it. So I, I I can put more things there, but I don't have any more art to put there. That that's all I have. Several months where you couldn't afford to buy fresh fruits, whatever you had in your cupboard and freezer was what you had to eat. Yeah. And it wasn't there that time too when you're like you just bought a whole bunch of groceries and then the fridge went bad and you had to throw a whole bunch of stuff out. That was. I definitely feel feel for you there. You don't have to pay all those things. If you forego certain things like taxes or clothes, you'll very quickly find yourself in an all expenses paid hotel. Yeah. Now, if you're like, if you're single and you've got nothing else going on, I could see that possibly being an option. But like, Bohemian Moon has several children. I don't think she would enjoy being put in jail. <laughs> I don't know. I don't. I don't mean to speak for you, Bohemian Moon, but uh, I can imagine you. You probably would not enjoy going to jail. Jail could be a vacation from children. Eh, I, I take it back then. Maybe Bohemian Moon wants to go to jail. <laughs> I think the problem would be more so getting your children back after being in jail. I think that would be the. That would be the. Uh, the the bigger challenge here. Starting to get a little hectic. Partner Dragon Slayer dropped off. Missed them far too much? Yeah. Uh, Mia dropped off. family for your mother's birthday hi mom happy birthday thanks for hanging out zombie as it was great seeing you again i might be live tomorrow i might not but uh keep an eye on discord you'll you'll be able to keep uh keep track of what, what what's happening it was great seeing you my friend have a fantastic time zone enjoy your day bean hill zone hold on we gotta we gotta get the hype music for this hold on Where's the hype music? All right, we gotta press that button and then press that button. Here we go, yep. All right, let's go squad. Let's go squad. We gotta get 80 rings and there's only two spots. No, 
Oh, darn it. All right, I got a whole chunk of them up there. I can, I, I can live with that. All right, we're getting a good line up here up top. Getting a lot of rings up top here. Nate taught me that the top line is usually the way to go. All right, there's three of us on the same line, so I gotta, I'm gonna drop off to try to get it, get it on a new cycle here. All right, we need seven more rings, and there's only one spot left. Can we do it? It's gonna be close. We just need two more. <laughs> no. Oh, we just missed it. Oh, all right, the hype music failed. You gotta, gotta get that out of here. Get that out of here. Oh, we were so close. Uh, nice try. Nice try. Hype music was a curse. It really was. It really was. I can't back out. You gotta wait a second. I don't have any curse music, I'm sorry. Actually, I know what I can do. I know what I can do. And I think that was appropriate after that last one. I think we 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 properly uncursed ourselves. Hopefully. Fingers crossed. Actually, I, I got some rewards in here. What'd I get? Gotta qualify for some more rounds. Miss Killer Bean. One of these days, maybe we'll do a Discord night. Once I once I get back into uh doing this a little more consistently, we'll do uh an Among Us night. Because they, they released a new map. Nate's gonna head out getting tired. No worries. Thanks for playing, Nate. Let's switch to duos. By the way, if anybody else is interested in playing, you're more than welcome to hop on in. Thanks for playing. Yeah. By the way, don't forget to follow our friend Nate Nick if you do not follow him already. He's been streaming again. Over on his channel, twitch.tv slash Nate Nick. He's playing some Fortnite right before this stream. Had a great time over there. Nice cozy vibes. Having a good time. Speaking of shoutouts, let's... uh. Our other friend. Oh. 
Hold on, I'll get to it in a minute. Did I tell the news? I did tell the news. I did, I did. Uh, I got new phones recently, so much storage space. I keep downloading games that look interesting. There's so many. I've, I've done that a few times, where I, I end up with like three pages on my phone full of games, and it's like, ooh. Which one of these do I actually want to play, and which ones of these are obvious ploys to steal my money and empty my bank account? Usually, they are the same, and I have to be very careful about that. But, uh... You know. You know how it goes. Everybody wants you to, uh... Everybody wants you to give them your money. Uh, uh, by the way, you can follow our friend HockeyGoalie78. He also streams. Friend and moderator. I think Hockey's still live right now, actually. He was playing some party animals earlier. Not sure what he's up to now. Don't know what you did with all your channel points. Yes, I already did something. She messed with your phone earlier. I didn't see any... Redemptions for you come through, Bohemian, though. So, must have been a previous stream. So, they just only showed one point. Ah, okay. It's probably bugged. Twitch does that sometime. Twitch be twitchy. Twitch be twitchy. I think I probably have a couple more games in me. Maybe uh, maybe one or two after this one, and then I'm probably going to wrap things up as well. I don't want to overdo it. I can already tell that my, my voice is going to be a little sore tomorrow because I'm not used to doing this anymore. It's been, it has been far too long. Yeah, I will uh, wrap things up. Oh, hockey's playing Fall Guys too. That's cool. Wrap things up, and I, I kind of want to try to stream tomorrow. I can't make any guarantees, because I'm going to be doing some more work in the house tomorrow. Um, I would like to right now. But obviously, I got I to gotta make sure I'm rested. I got to take care of myself first. Um, so I will... Maybe if it's a short stream. Maybe, we'll, we'll try to make it work. I think Dogfish is streaming tomorrow evening, too. So I would, I would be kind of... Uh, I would have a, a, a good stopping point if I am getting kind of tired. Uh, right about two hours in. That's when dogfish would go alive. Commission an emote of your legs falling through the ceiling. That'd be a fun animated emote. Just like legs dangling through the ceiling. Maybe I need to talk to an emote artist and get that done. That would be hilarious. Oh, I almost fell right off the edge there. Ooh. Ooh. Ooh, 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 ooh. Um, also, something else that's changed is Crowd Control did a huge update where they are now on Crowd Control 2.0, but they don't support Fall Guys anymore. They have not reinstated uh, Fall Guys as one of their supported games. I'm very bummed about that because I've I've loved uh, messing around uh, with with. Uh, I mean, I, I I say loved. I uh, I always complained about it, but it was fun <laughs> to do crowd control with uh, with this game. But yeah, it, it's it's not currently supported, unfortunately. So. Maybe one of these days they'll bring it back? I'm not entirely sure. Uh, slowly adding stuff back in. Had to wait for getting over it. Ah, uh, okay. 
one of the upsides of the new crowd control is that your points carry over from channel to channel. Which is really cool. So, like, if you have a ton of points over in my channel, and then you go to, say, Random Korok's channel, and, and he's playing, um, you'll be able to redeem them over there, too. You gotta get a shout-out out for Random Korok as well, who also streams. Random Korok and I met in person. A little over a year ago, which was awesome. Thank you, Bohemian Moon. Yeah, we met at TwitchCon last year. I did not go to TwitchCon this year. Also, it was not in San Diego again, so... I know it would have been a little bit harder, but... Uh, I don't know. Twitch already said that they're not going back to Vegas, so... Who knows? Maybe I, I'm still holding on to hope that it's, it's going to be somewhere on the East Coast or uh, or somewhere out a little bit closer to me next year. That'd be really fun. I know uh, Daniela and Hockey have been meeting up with people. I think they met up with Ghosty. Minneapolis TwitchCon. So... Funny that you say that, Bohemian Moon. One of my co new co-workers at my new job's son lives in Minneapolis. And I had a training class at work this week where it was a consultant that came in and talked to us. He flew in from Minneapolis. Maybe I just need to go to Minneapolis. You want to settle in one spot and waiting on a long-term contract to clear? I liked the one in San Diego. I thought that was a really good convention center. Um, they want to settle down in one spot. It's probably unlikely they'd be on the east coast. They probably want to do it either on the west coast or somewhere central. But uh, we'll see what happens. Yeah, Schmibbles and I met uh, 24 years ago. <laughs> it's been so long since I've seen you, uh, Schmibbles. 24 years. Crazy, crazy. Thought about going, just came back from seeing Pat Money as a type. Yeah. So what's... Is it just like a Twitch meetup in Minneapolis? Or, or, or what is it? Uh, what's... Or were you just joking about that? Minneapolis Comic Con. Oh, okay, gotcha. That's cool. That's cool. Twin Cities Comic Con. Uh, that sounds like fun. Maybe, maybe one of these years that'll be my excuse to come visit you all out there. Steve from Blues Clues is gonna be there. That's cool. That's really cool. Uh, Jake from State Farm was at TwitchCon when I went. I didn't get a chance to get a picture with him because the line was ridiculous, but I did see him and I was within maybe five feet of him. Two voice actors from Bluey. I still have not watched Bluey, but I, I know a lot of adult friends of mine that have watched Bluey. So maybe I have to watch Bluey. Like, adult friends that have kids have told me to watch it. Adult friends that don't have kids have told me to watch it. I might check it out. I actually literally, right before, uh, right before stream, I was watching, uh, uh, series with my i have to say wife now i have to i keep catching myself wanting to say fiance uh i was watching it with my wife and we uh we just finished it, it was, we've been watching it for a while so now we have there's a new we have to we have to find a new show to watch so maybe i'll suggest bluey and just wait until she yells at me voice actors from avatar Ooh, i love that series love that series 
I never really watched Avatar when I was younger, but uh, my at the time girlfriend and I watched it. Good show. And then we watched Korra. Not as good as uh, Avatar. Bluey does seem extremely cute. I will give you that. Watched episodes here and there. It's a really good series. It holds up. Like, I, I watched Avatar as an adult. I would still recommend it. There's a lot of kids shows that it's like, yes, this is obviously a kids show. And it, it's not as fun to watch when you're older. Avatar was fun to watch as an adult. Catch yourself saying fiance said a wife. Yeah, I still say fiance all the time too. Like I, I had to call uh, call the town earlier today, and I, I mentioned my my wife. Oh no, we're being raided. We're being raided. Hockey goalie seventy eight. How's it going, my friend? Thank you for the raid. What were you up to? I mean, I know what you were up to. I was lurking in your street for a while. Whoa. get some hype in the chat for hockey goalie coming on in with that 30 month resub thank you so much for the support my friend enjoy another month of the emotes the ad free viewing access to our subscribers only discord channel and of course that super special place you get right in my heart how are you doing my friend how is stream i was watching when you were playing party animals and uh I was doing this when you switched to Fall Guys, but I hope everything was good. I hope you had a good time. Uh, we're going to have to open up some Pokemon cards for you. All right, the question for you, Hockey, is do you want me to open up a pack of Pokemon 151 cards, which is like the really, really hype series that just came out recently that is the original 151 Pokemon, and there's some really good rare cards in there? Or... Do you just want to, uh, do you want to open up a completely random pack? I did the math. I have about 160 packs that I still need to open. So you can take your luck with one of 160 random ones. It's up to you. It is up to you. Party Animals was filled with bots, switched over to Fall Guys for a bit. Well, that's no fun. I have yet to play Party Animals. I've, I've heard a lot about it, and I've seen it played a lot. It seems like it has a certain level of coordination that I don't have. You mean to tell me I need to run and punch at the same time? No, thanks. No. See, that, that, that's what I mean about the, the, the whole coordination, you know? Uh, I was referring to you, yes, because you just resubscribed. Uh... Oh, Defer to Bohemian Moon. All right, Bohemian Moon's getting soup. So I'm not sure if she's still here. No! Ah, nice try, Mia. Nice try. That was close. That was close. That was the warm-up. Bohemian Moon says 151. All right, we'll go ahead and do that. We'll go ahead and do that real quick. Ooh, I only have two packs of 151 back. Or er, 151 left. I'll put them both on the screen here. Do you want the one on the left or the one on the right? I will let you pick. Or you can defer. I will I will give you the option. Hey Wicked Wheezy! Hello! How's it going, Wicked Wheezy? Nice to see ya! Alright, left or right? Left or right? Or I'll pick. Left? All right. Left it is. Right, here we go. Let's open this up and see if we got anything good. We already got one full art card tonight. Actually, we got two, but the first one was damaged. Whoa! Sleeping Dogfish! Paat. Paat! How's it going, Sleeping Dogfish? Thank you so much for that 32 month resub 
Enjoy another month of the emotes, the ad previewing, access to our subscribers only Discord channel, and of course, that special place you get right in my heart. How are you doing, my friend? I've missed you as well. I appreciate you swinging on by. I hope you are doing well. Uh, we were just talking about Pokemon cards. Uh, I did pull this really cool full art Ivysaur card earlier tonight. Very excited about that one. This is Pokemon 151, so it's a, it's a limited edition set that came out. It's all the original 151 Pokemon, but there's a lot of really, really cool, um, uh, like, secret rare, secret art cards. So, um, this one I'm opening for hockey, and then Dogfish, since you subscribed, you also get to open up a pack of cards. So, I'll give you the option. Do you want me to open up another one of these 151 packs? Or... Do you want to just pick a random pack from my stockpile? I did the math earlier on stream. I have approximately 160 packs of Pokemon cards that I have not opened yet uh, in my in my stash. So I gotta I gotta open up a lot of cards. Uh, another 151. Okay, so you'll get the last one. All right, this is for hockey. We've got a Fighting Energy. Got a Spiro. Got a Bell Sprout, Magikarp. That got food? No worries. We're just opening a Pokemon card, so you didn't miss much. How's everybody tonight? I'm doing pretty good. I'm excited to be back. I might stream tomorrow too. I can't guarantee anything, but I might do it. Special pack for Millennials. That's a good way to put it. Uh, Ivysaur. Oh my gosh, he's so cute. Look at his face. He's so cute. I am really, really liking this uh, this set. Got a slow bro. Got a machoke. A reverse holographic grabber. Okay. Whoa! Ho -ho -ho! Guys, we got a full art Charizard. Whoa! Look at that! Ho -ho -ho! Hold on, I gotta look this up. Pokemon 151, Charizard, EX, 199 out of 165. This card is going for over $100. Holy cow. Like not graded or anything. Just an ungraded card is going for a hundred and sixteen dollars holy cow oh my gosh and if i get this graded oh my gosh a psa 10 of this card is eight hundred dollars <laughs> yeah I, i'm gonna put this in a sleeve the last card was a vile plume by the way Oh my goodness! Holy cow! I don't think this is gonna be a 10 if I get it graded. If I'm looking at it and I'm being honest, I don't think it would be a 10. Yeah, don't lick it or anything. So I this would probably be, if I had to guess, off a very quick glance, an 8.5 to a 9. Problems that I see are the centering seems a little skewed, perhaps. Little skewed. Uh, and there was also a very slight bump down here on the bottom. Just a tiny touch of damage. Oh, that is so cool. See, this is why people like this set, because this card is extremely rare. Whew. Oh, I don't know what to say. That is so cool. Send that card right to Home Depot. Yeah, just sell it and then use it to pay for house repairs. <laughs> uh, super pretty. I know. Yeah, I. I have a whole like. Uh, put it somewhere safe to pay for the next time you uh, fall through the ceiling. Yeah, honestly. I have a stash of, like, really, really good cards that um, seem in really good condition that I want to get graded. One of these days, I'm going to sign up for um, 
like PSA or, or one of those other card grading sites and just send out a whole bunch of cards to get graded. Yeah. Did you share any news? I did. I shared some news earlier. Whoa. Sleeping dogfish gifting a sub to Po Po Po. Wait, I gotta make sure I got this right. Po 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 Poo Poi Po Po. Or Mia. Enjoy the subscription. Po 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 Poo Poi Po Po. Thank you for gifting that sub, dogfish. I'm gonna have to open up some more cards. We're gonna have to open up some more cards. Have been a firebox? No, I don't. I probably should. Um. Anyway, going back to what I was saying. Uh. Well, sorry. I gotta, I'm all distracted. I haven't done this in a while. Mia, enjoy the emotes, the ad-free viewing, access to our subscribers-only Discord channel, and of course that special place you get right in my heart. Dogfish, thank you so much for the support. I really appreciate it. Um. Anyway, for those of you who missed it, anybody who uh, just came in recently, I got married on Halloween, so I am now I am now a married Reach Pet. Um, yeah, that is that is the big news. We talked about it earlier at the beginning of stream, but uh, yeah, no, my my fiance and I decided to. Uh, I mean, we're basically married. We did it. We did it for the most romantic of reasons: tax benefits. Um, <laughs> uh, but yeah, we, uh, I am now Mr. Reach Pet. That is true. That is true. Uh, but yeah, we had a, a really tiny ceremony at the town hall. Um, uh, her, her dad and brother were there. My aunt and uncle were there. It was, uh, it was, it was really, really nice. Really, really nice. All right. This is the pack for dogfish subscribing. This is the last pack of 151 cards that I have. Ooh, starting off good, we have a holographic fighting energy. I'm liking these holographic energy cards. They're, they're really nice. Got a Geodude. Back to benefits, let's go! Got a Jigglypuff. Next up, a Staryu. Charmander, very cute Charmander. Did you have a pack for resubbing? Yes, we already opened it. Uh, yeah. Uh, watched via FaceTime while handing out candy and hot dogs. Indeed. Even the basic art on these is really good. They did a really good job with the uh, the art on this set. Yeah. Got an Ammonite. Got a Tauros. A Kadabra. I think next one's Reverse Hollow Muck. Nice. Next up, Reverse Hollow Mankey. And last but not least, Holographic Jinx EX. Another great card. This also has to go into a sleeve. We're having fantastic luck with all of our cards this evening. This is a, a double... Uh, double star rarity. So this is like an extra rare card. Alright, so we gotta open up one more pack for Mia. So, here's the thing, right? Technically, I don't have any open packs of 151 that I can open. But if I uh, if I come down here, selling for thirty five cents though, yeah, yeah, it's not quite the same. I do have this one box set that I haven't opened yet. We can open this because I'm kind of having good luck with all the uh, having good luck with all the cards this evening. So let's open this. I wasn't gonna open it. Let's do it. Let's do it. Got like a whole cardboard stash going on under my desk. I've been starting to order people's uh, Christmas gifts. So I just have a lot of boxes. All right, so we got this really cool holographic Electabuzz card. And then we also have this really cool uh, full art Zapdos EX card. 
And then we also have this, uh, it's a little tiny. I'm not sure if you're going to be able to see it, but um, this giant <laughs> Zapdos EX card. Uh, it's, it's the size of my hand. Put that off to the side. And we've got four packs, four more packs of uh, 151. So, Mia. Do you want pack one, two, three, or four? That is up to you. Which one do you think is given the best one? Number two, number three, or number four. Any preference? Any preference? Or I can just pick a random one too. That one will work. Bohemian Moon says two. Getting some good energy from number two. Anybody else? Anybody else? We'll go with number two. We'll go with number two. All of them. I mean, at the rate we're going, I'll probably end up opening all of them. I'm gonna have to order more of these. The problem is, these are go. I, I was. I'm just gonna preface this with I did not pay this much for them, but they're going right now for about seven dollars a pack. Even though they're a brand new set, because the art is so good on them. Um. And they're, 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 it's just such a popular set. They've been selling for a lot of money. Luckily, I was able to get, um, I was able to get these pre-ordered. So I saved a lot of money by doing it that way. Looking through the art on this set, so many cool full art cards. I agree. I absolutely agree with you there. Whoa! a subscription to zombie cave you guys can we get some hype in the chat for schmibbles gifting that sub zombie cave enjoy the emotes the ad free viewing access to our subscribers only discord channel and of course that special place you get right in my heart thank you for the support schmibbles i appreciate that that means we're gonna have to open up another pack of cards maybe it, maybe i shouldn't have been doing one pack per uh per sub today I just wanted to get through because I have so many of these cards. I need to open them all by Christmas. That way, when I get like 200 more packs for Christmas, we'll be all set. All right, basic grass energy. Oh, look at that Meowth card. That is so nice. That is such a cool Meowth. All right, we got Execute. Got a Cliff Fairy. Got a Machop. And we have Gloom. Dog Trio. The Fable. Into the holographics. We got reverse holographic tentacle. Reverse holographic diglet. And last but not least, holographic starmy. I love this one with the Starmie. It kind of looks like um, stained glass almost with the holographic in the back. I know it doesn't come off super great on the camera, but it is a really, really cool card. All right. Another one down, another one down. Another pack bites the dust. Okay, uh, Zombie KV. One, two, or three. Or, sorry, let me, let me back up. Do you want uh, a 151 pack or do you want a random pack from the giant overflowing drawer of unopened Pokemon cards. I'm not exaggerating when I say a very rough estimate is that this is approximately 160 unopened packs of Pokemon cards. I have so many of these. It's ridiculous. Uh, 151? Alright. Do you want pack number one, two, or three? One, two, or three? That's a lot of packs. Yeah, it is. It is. That, that's why I'm opening up uh, 42. All right. Well, you said there, there was a two in there, so we're going with two. 
Um, that's why I'm opening up one pack per sub this evening, because I have too many packs of Pokemon cards. I really do. I don't even play. I just collect them. I still have a whole bunch of those Pokemon Go sets back when I was looking for the uh, the hidden Ditto cards. That was really cool. I don't know if anybody remembers, but with the Pokemon Go set, you'd get just like a generic like Rattata or Pidgey, and it would have a little tiny Ditto symbol in the bottom corner of the card. And it was actually a sticker where if you peeled the sticker off, there was a Ditto underneath, so it was like two cards stuck together. Super, super cool. We did end up finding one, finally. It took us a while, but we, we did find one. All right, we've got a Darkness Energy. We've got Nidoran. Ghastly. Paris. I like how we really haven't been getting a lot of duplicates with this set either. It's It's been a pretty good variety here. We've got Voltorb. I like that art, it's very intense. We've got Butterfree. Next is Lapras. Cycling Road. Uh, uh, reverse Holographic Parasect. Next up, Reverse Holographic Mankey. And last but not least, a Holographic Aerodactyl. That's an intense card. Very nice. Very, very nice. All right, we are caught up on Pokemon cards. We are caught up for now. Mia, are you still around? Do you still want to play Fall Guys? Are you still feeling up to it? We've played like five rounds and I've been live for almost two and a half hours. It's just been, uh, it's been talking in Pokemon cards basically this entire stream, which isn't a bad thing. It's nice to get caught up with everybody. Definitely still, okay. All right. Let's do it. We gotta get a win. We gotta get a win. Uh, if anybody else is interested in playing, by the way, I think I'll, I, I've changed my mind. I think I'll, I'll go another uh, 30 to 40 minutes or so. There has been lots to talk about. There really has. That is what happens when I uh, just disappear off the face of the internet for, uh, what, two, three months, something like that. There is a Gorgeist in the chat, exclamation, poke catch. Thank you for that hydration reminder, Bohemian Moon. I've definitely spent too much time talking and not enough time sipping on water. Uh, Wicked Weezy, you might need to send that message through again. I think it uh, it somehow got corrupted. Schmibbles pressing the button. We'll spin the wheel. Round and round it goes. Where it lands. <laughs> oh, of course. Of course. Where else would it land, right? Schmibbles, do you want a pack of 151 cards? Or do you want... Uh, do you want... Uh, uh, a random different pack. It's up to you. That's up to you. Infinite Pokemon cards. I mean, that drawer is basically infinite Pokemon cards. Wheel says there hasn't been enough cards. There's never going to be enough cards. There, there's never going to be enough. Yeah, Schmibbles, do you want that same series, the uh, 151? Okay, do you want pack number one or pack number two? I have two packs left. And then I'm actually out after I uh, after I use both of those both of those packs. I'm, if, I might have to get more. Maybe I'll do a uh, maybe I'll do a, a sub goal or something to uh, Raise more money to get more of these. Number two, all right. Okay, so another announcement. I mentioned it at the beginning of stream and I should probably talk about it more, but next week is actually my three year 
affiliate anniversary. Three year affiliate anniversary next week. So next Friday, we're going to be doing a celebration stream. I don't have anything planned for it yet. I, it's going to be a relatively normal-ish stream, just with more hype. Tonight's been pretty hype. There's going to be even more of it, uh, even more of it next week. So next Friday, right here, same time as normal. Be here or be not here. If you got all this stuff going on, that's cool too. But be here, it'd be fun. Oh. Wicked Wheezy! Wicked Wheezy gifting five subs to the community. Guys, can we get some hype in the chat for Wicked Wheezy gifting those subs? Going to... How can I see that? I'm using different tools than I normal do, normally do. Uh, it's not telling me. It's not telling me. Aster Caster, G Mags, Goofhead, Nanograms, and Alto Girl. Congratulations on those subscriptions, my friends. Or I can get hyped now. Yep. You can always count on Wicked Wheezy to come on in. Give us some hype. Thanks, Mom. I appreciate it. I'm glad you're all liking those new emotes. I, I, I honestly wasn't sure if I should get the uh, the Arcanine one, the one that I have labeled as Bark. But I think it's pretty cool. I think it's a, I think it's a pretty cool emote, so I'm, I'm glad I picked it up. Yeah, there's that one, and there's the... Ah! <laughs> there's the uh, the Pat emote as well. Those two are, are new as of today. Best supportive mom, yes. Very, very supportive mom. Awesome mom. 10 out of 10. Would recommend. Wicked, Wicked Weezy went to your swim meets. Yes, she did. Yes, she did. All right. Does that mean I have to open up five more packs of Pokemon cards? I think that does. So we got that one. And then I'm just going to pick five random packs because it's going to be very difficult to... Uh, Go through all of these. So we'll do the last. We'll do the last uh, 151 pack, and then one, two, three, four random ones. So we've got uh, two 151 packs that we need to open up. One of them for Schmibbles' button, and five, uh, one for Wicked Wheezy. Then we got a pack of Brilliant Stars, Sword and Shield, Shining Fates, and Fusion Strike. Uh, Mia, I think this is going to be our last uh, round of Fall Guys for the evening because we're going to be spending a lot more time opening Pokemon cards. I always struggle with that last jump. For some reason, I don't know if it's input delay or, or if my character just starts falling, but specifically right here. I, I guess I'm just not jumping early enough because I fall all the time. Yeah, Schmibbles came to most of my needs. She came to a good chunk of them, unless she had something else going on. But yeah, Wicked Wheezy came to a lot of my meets. My dad was usually working, so he wasn't able to come to a lot um, when I swam for the club team. But when I was in high school, my dad came to almost all of my meets. Home and away meets, which was nice. I miss those days. See, now they come, uh, I, I'm officiating, so they come to the meets that I'm working instead of uh, swimming, which is pretty funny. I think actually I'm, I'm possibly going to be working a meet over my birthday weekend in January. Um, and there's a hockey game in town for a team that uh, they like. So my family might be coming up for my birthday going to a hockey game, and watching me officiate, not a swimming meet, actually a diving meet. Diving only meet. Ever went to your recitals? Well, my excuse is that Uncle Paul didn't go to your recitals either, and I needed to keep him company. But I went to a bunch of your recitals. I went to a lot when you were really little. And I went to your last one, too. Judge Diving 2? Absolutely, yeah. Yep. I actually, I, 
I am one of the better diving judges in my group. Um, I've actually had coaches reach out to the, the person that does the scheduling and specifically request that I work their school's diving meets because they, they like having me around. So I really enjoy it. I, I think it's great. And it's cool because I grew up swimming. I didn't I, I didn't get exposed to diving at all until I got into high school. Um, and now I'm, a, I would say, a, a fairly good diving judge. I actually got picked to uh, officiate sectionals for, for the uh, the girls this year uh, for diving. I, I didn't get picked to work any of the swim meets because I think I, I marked that I wasn't available for any of them. But I was available for diving sectionals, and I got picked, which is crazy. Because um, I've only been doing this. This is only my third year officiating, and they picked me. And there's a lot of people in my organization who have been doing it for 15, 20, even 30 years. Um, and they didn't get picked. They, they picked me over that, which I think is, is really cool. So, very, very thankful for that opportunity. And actually, there's, there's another new official. This is her first year. She got picked to do diving sectionals as well. Uh, but her, she has a lot of diving experience because her daughter dove for 11 years. And I think her niece still dives. So she goes to a lot of her niece's diving meets. So she has a lot of experience watching diving. So even though it's her first year officiating, she still, um, she still has a lot of really good relevant experience. And she got picked too. So I'm... I'm very proud of her because I actually, one of her first meets, like she was working with me, I was doing the training with her. Uh, and I put in a good recommendation for her to the training committee because she did a really good job. So. My my new swim, swim official buddy. Aww. She's all grown up. Uh, nice try, Mia. Nice try. Okay. Time to open up six more packs of Pokemon cards. Come over here, come over here. All right, let's do it. All right, so this is the pack for Schmibbles. I really might need to go out and buy more of these because I'm really enjoying this uh, this set. Ari's getting into the dog dishes? Oh no. Oh no. That's no good. All right, here we go. Thanks for the fun game. Thanks for playing. I appreciate you joining. You're always more than welcome to hop on in with us whenever you are around. All right, here we go. Got a pack. Got a Metal Energy. Got Sand Shrew. Seal. Doe Duo. All right, I think I jinxed it. We're getting a lot of duplicates now. I, I, I said last pack that I haven't been getting a lot of duplicates. Now this is all duplicates. I don't think we've had a single new one yet. Doug Trio. Hitmonlee. Nidorino. I think that one's new. I don't think we've seen Nidorino yet. Reverse Holographic Ghastly. And last but not least. Ho ho ho! Schmibbles! We got a Zapdos EX! Ho-ho-ho! Zap, dose, EX, one, nine, two, one, six, five. This card is going for like 40 bucks. Just for the card. <laughs> We've been having such good luck. This is why I like this set. This is why I like this set. There's so many awesome cards. This is a double star full art holographic. Number 192 out of 165. So a really good secret rare. Very good card. 
very, very good card. This is really dangerous because I'm I I'm gonna want to get more of these packs, but they're kind of expensive. What I actually ended up doing is I got the uh, like the Snorlax box of these, and it comes with a whole bunch of packs. And I uh, I was able to get that, and it ended up being significantly cheaper to do that than. Um, just buying the packs. And I got more stuff. I got uh, like some dice or something like that, too. Yeah, gambling, basically. All right, here we go. This is my last pack of 151 cards, I think. I'll have to double check. All right, starting out with the water energy. Got a Paris. Voltorb. Krabby. Sand Shrew, Erica's Invitation, Magneton. This is a really cool one too. It's claymation, uh, or it's a it's a clay figurine that they took a picture of it. They did the same thing with the Magnemite. I love these clay cards. I just think it's such a cool, uh, such a cool way to do it. Got Nido Queen. That one's definitely a new one. Haven't seen that card yet. Reverse Holographic Goldine. Reverse Holographic Gloom. Erica's Intervention. <laughs> Last but not least, a Holographic Raichu. That's a fun one to end our 151s on. Good pack. Good pack. All right. I need to sort through my mountain of cardboard under my desk to verify that I don't have any more of these 151 cards because I've enjoyed opening these. I don't think I have any more. I will double check. Oh, I do have more. Oh, I haven't even opened this yet. Ooh, I lied. I lied. I have this. I have the Scarlet and Violet 151 Ultra Premium Collection that I bought. Did we open this? You know what, I, as much as I want to open this, why don't I save this, why don't I save this for our anniversary stream next week? So it comes with, um, it comes with these three cards. So it comes with Mew EX, Mew EX, and Mewtwo. Um, so it has those three cards, comes with a play mat, a deck box, a metallic coin with Mew on it, six dice, two condition markers, 16 booster packs. 16 booster packs. Maybe maybe that'll be part of our anniversary stream as I uh, I open this. And I also had this one. This is the uh, the Blastoise box that I got a lot of packs out of. So this is um it came with some coins, some dice. Um it came with a, a really cool Snorlax promo card. It came with a starter deck. I think that just has a bunch of energy in it. And then some spacers. Yeah, be, all right, sounds good. Actually, instead of those other packs that I pulled, I did buy some of these Trick or Trade booster bundles. I haven't opened these yet. These are, these are this year's uh, Trick or Trade booster bundles. Why don't I open a few of these? I, I haven't seen what these Halloween cards are yet. It's, uh, it's a couple days past Halloween, so we're, we're a little behind the ball. So I owe you four more packs. These are small packs, so we'll just do... Uh, we'll do six. We'll do six of these trick-or-trade packs. How about that? All right, we're going to rapid-fire these. We're going to rapid-fire these. Alright, we've got a Delamaze, a Spectre here, and a Miss Magius.
not really sure how this set works. I think what they do is they take they take some Halloween themed Pokemon from different sets and they they put the little pumpkin Pikachu in the corner and they uh, they they put them into the Halloween set. So they got a Zubat, holographic Houndoom. That's pretty cool looking, and a Murkrow. I think what I'll, I think the card trick is one on here because it seems like the second card's holographic. I do have to say these ones are a lot easier to open because the packs are a little bit smaller. Okay, got a Shuppet, another Delmes, and a Marshadow. It's a cool card. I wonder if there's any secrets with, uh, with these packs here. I know certain ones have secret rares and stuff, but if these are all just uh, kind of reprints from different packs, I'm not sure. Right, we got a Graveyard, a Bayonet. I like the little uh, Mystic Wiggles. Ooh, holographic mimic you. That's a cool one. I like that. I do like that. We got two more. Hey, Deja Mew. How's it going, my friend? Nice to see you. Hope you are doing well. Yep, got a Drifloon. We're just opening up some Pokemon cards. We basically spent the entire stream opening Pokemon cards at this point, if, I, if we're being honest. Uh, Galarian Run Regis. And Holographic Chandelure. Oh, that's a cute emote. I like that Deja Mew. That is very cute. All right, last pack here. Last pack here. Got a Drift Limb. Got a Lichen Rock. And a Holographic Dustwar. Nice. All right. That concludes that portion of uh, opening Pokemon cards. Thank you again, Wicked Wheezy, for the gift subs. If you got gifted one of those subs, enjoy the emotes. Hope you're doing well. You as well. It's nice to, nice to kind of get back into... Uh, Nice to get kind of back into things. Whoa! Random Korok gifting a sub to uh, Deja Mew. All right. All right, I see how this works. Every time I like think we're gonna do something else, it's it's somebody gives a sub and we gotta go open more Pokemon cards. I see how it is. It, it really is never ending. Deja Mew, enjoy the emotes, the ad-free viewing, access to our subscribers-only Discord channel, and of course, that super special subscribers-only place you get right in my heart. Uh, and check your emotes, uh, Deja Mew. There's two brand new emotes that we just launched today uh, in the emote drawer. You can check them out. Yeah, you saw, you saw that one. Uh, and we're going to open up some Pokemon cards to celebrate here for you. Got Miss Magius. Haunter. And Houndstone holographic card. That one's pretty cool. I like that. And we'll open up one more since these are Halloween packs. Uh, after this, I'll show you off the, uh, the really, really, really cool full art cards that we pulled earlier. Uh, we've got four of them. One of them is going for over $100 ungraded right now online i'm not planning on selling it but it's really really cool to see got a murkrow yes they always so happy looking look at them go not in this set i've been opening up um i've been opening up a lot of 151 packs i think i opened up like 10 or 12 of them and holographic gengar all right so Uh, we got a, we've got a full art, uh, not a full art, but a, a Jinx EX. Did you get a Mew? I have not gotten Mew yet, unfortunately. No. We got Jinx EX. 
We got Zapdos EX. Which is crazy. This card is going for uh, about $40 ungraded right now. We got an Ivysaur full art. This one's going for about $60 ungraded right now. This is one of the first cards that we, we pulled. I, I love this one. But the absolute gem of our collection that we've pulled so far, the, the best card by far, is this Charizard EX full art card. This is going ungraded for about $120. A PSA 10 of this is going for $800 right now. I don't think this is going to be a PSA 10 if I get it graded because there is a slight defect on the bottom. But even if it's a 9, this is a three to $400 card, which is just absolutely bonkers. Absolute insanity. This is like the big card from this set, or, or one of the biggest cards from this set. And I somehow pulled it. So there's been a lot of hype tonight, and that's why we kind of decided to just keep opening up these 151 uh, series cards, which the sleeves that I got for these are so cool. It's all the uh, all the original 151 Pokemon on the back. It's It's awesome. I see Arcanine up here, and Growlithe is down here. I'm sure to use on here somewhere. I know a few of them kind of got cut off around the edges, so might not be on there. But uh, oh, there's Mew right there. Yep, right there. Yeah, no. Um, I am seriously considering sending out that Charizard to get graded because that is just absolute insanity that is that is the card of this set um yeah i i when i search pokemon 151 best card that charizard shows up um let me just scroll through here uh, there is a zapdos ex that's in the top group yeah, literally, literally, that is the best card in the set. Whew. That is insane. That I pulled that card. Hey, welcome back, Dogfish. We're just talking about how crazy it is that I took uh, that that Charizard card. It, it, that's the chase in the set. That is the most valuable card that I could have gotten from a pack of these cards. That Charizard. Like, I'm looking at an article here that has, like, the, the most desirable cards. That is the number one card. Whew. I'm going to need to put that in a... Uh, I'm going to need to put that in a safe. Get like a, a Brinks van or something to uh, deliver that to PSA for me. That is very lucky. Yeah, no, it, it, yeah, yeah. I don't even know what to say. Whew. All right, well, I've, I've streamed for almost an hour longer than I was planning on streaming because I've been having a good time and we've been pulling a lot of Pokemon cards. I opened up so many packs tonight. So many packs, it's ridiculous. But uh, I do think that I'm going to have to wrap things up here. Thank you all so much for hanging out. It's it's crazy seeing so many people coming back and hanging out uh, after me being away for so long. It's it's uh, it's really awesome to see. I'm really thankful for all of you being here um, and grateful that you were able to make it. Uh, great to see you all as well. Um, I want to stream tomorrow. I am going to attempt to stream tomorrow. I can't guarantee anything, but I really would like to make it work. Um, so possibly be here. Yeah, uh, keep an eye on the Discord. Thank you for all the subscriptions and gift subs tonight. 
Rach, Korok, Undissolved, Daniela, Bohemian, Mooch, Mibbles, Hockey, Sleeping Dogfish, Mia, Zombie Cave, Nanograms, Goofhead, G-Mags, Alta Girl, Aster, Deja Vu, Ashley Rose for the bits, Hockey and Nate for the raids. Thank you all so much. I will see you all again, hopefully, tomorrow, but uh, keep an eye on the Discord. Uh, you all know the drill. If you liked everything you saw tonight, make sure you drop follow, turn on alerts so you can get notified when we are going live. Hope you all have an absolutely fantastic evening. We're going to end with some KK Slider music, as we always do. I'm going to need to think of a new raid message with... Um, with some of these new emotes i haven't uh i haven't come up with a raid message with these emotes yet so uh maybe maybe that'll be our that'll be our homework um everybody this is your this is your assignment uh, come up with some raid messages and and uh we'll, we'll do a presentation in front of the class tomorrow on stream okay uh for now though we'll end with the uh um uh, we'll go with where is it we'll go with the we'll go with that one We'll go with the dance raid. Reach Pets Raiders are dancing into your stream. Copy and paste that raid message if you're subscribed. If you're not subscribed, you can use that raid message. Thanks all for hanging out. Hope you all have a fantastic evening. And I will see you all again real, real soon. Bye, everybody! <laughs>